good everyone i'm pastor jimmy pickett and the verse i want to read to you today is in hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have i'm gonna, I'm gonna do the first part of this verse for us um do, do you spend your time looking around and worrying about what somebody else has maybe they've got a nicer vehicle to you a nicer house nicer clothes uh, whatever whatever the situation may be. It says, let your conversation be without covetousness. Folks, it is a sin to covet what somebody else has. And you might say, well, Brother Jimmy, I just don't, I just don't have anything. Well, the, then you need to do a little self-examination in your life. I, I've done the sermon on this before. And take a good, hard look at yourself in the mirror and figure out what it is that you're doing wrong in your life today, folks, because God wants us to have plenty. God wants us to be blessed. Uh, he, he wants us not to not to be left wanting. But the thing about it is there are a lot of, of, of different conditions in this Bible that he gives and sets forth that you must obey and you must do in order to receive the blessings of God. And the thing about it is, I can tell you this too, if you're coveting with what somebody else has and, and you're sitting there saying you don't have anything, uh, folks, let me tell you something. God will not bless you with any more than what you can handle. I had to learn that the hard way. He's not going to give you plenty. He's not going to let you have plenty of money because he knows that you'll blow it or he knows that somebody's going to rip you off because you're not ready to handle it. You have got to grow and be more mature in God's word and in prayer and to walk with God. And the thing about it is, if you know, if you know what God's word says, you're going to know what his commandments are. You're going to know what's pleasing and displeasing to him. You're going to know what conditions have to be met in order for you to have something folks don't don't be worrying about what somebody else has got you need to worry about yourself and you need to worry about taking care of what God has blessed you with because if you don't take care with what God blesses you with he's not gonna bless you with anything else and I know I heard a lot of feelings when I say this but I'm gonna say it anyway if you've got a vehicle and I don't care if it's new middle-aged or even an old car and you're driving around and you got crap all in the floor and it's just a nasty mess one of those cars you don't even want to get in you have to kick the trash out from around your feet to sit in the vehicle a rolling trash can now why would god bless you with something nicer or better when you can't even take care of what he gave you hey can i get an amen amen folks if this has edified you today hit your share button Hit your share button. God's children are starving to death today for the word of God and peace and hope. Hey, me and my wife love you guys so much, and we are praying for you and your families each and every day. Hey, God bless you, and thank you for spending this time with me in the holy word of God.